Let's actually meet a Kansas kid who actually has been helped and is now back on his feet thanks to donors like you. Ryder and his parents, Chris and Laura, all took time out of their vacation to share his story of how dressing for success helped get him back home. I look good, feel good. When I look good, I feel good. Meet Ryder, a now nine-year-old boy who has already gone through so much in life, including fighting a rare tumor at six years old. Ryder's parents started noticing small but unusual changes. He would fall asleep right after school and sleep all night. His teachers noticed he was having trouble seeing in class. I thought that most people just didn't see on their sides. I thought that, and I was thinking like that you were, that vision was really bad. You weren't supposed to, when you're the eye doctor, you weren't supposed to see all the letters. It was when they went trick-or-treating. His parents became concerned that he couldn't see the doorbells right in front of him. Ryder eventually went to see an optometrist, which led to a domino effect of other doctor's visits. And we got right in the eye doctor, and it was that one day, it was from the eye doctor to his pediatrician to the hospital. Yeah, it was kind of a whirlwind at that point. Ryder was diagnosed with craniopharyngioma. It was sitting on his pituitary gland, which was also pushing on his optic nerve. From there, the family headed to Memphis for treatment at the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Six years old, fighting a tough battle. But the way he got through it, dressing to the nines. He used the suit as a tool to motivate himself and to feel better, and it, it, it helped. Yeah. It was a great, great way to cope with. That's right, Ryder would wear suits for visits, appointments, and treatments, all to make him feel better. His suits even caught the attention of Dr. James Downing, the CEO of St. Jude. It would make me feel bad when I was wearing clothes, like non, like non-dressy clothes, because then it's kind of look good, feel good. Ryder now only goes back to St. Jude every six months. These days, he's opting for casual clothes at his visits, but to him and his family, the most important thing, he's here with them. Making it to nine years old, thanks to help from St. Jude and the people who donate. It helps kids like me get better at doing normal, feeling normal, and it helps us get better. It, it means a lot to me. Man, such great advice from a nine-year-old. If you look good, you feel good. Now, Ryder also had a friend with him while he was at the hospital, a little furry one named Boo. Boo was a stuffed dog he carried around with him, as you can see right here. Now, Ryder since got older, and now he hangs out with his real-life dog, Quigley.